Welcome to the German Bundestag. Every year for Holocaust Remembrance Day, an exhibition is put on here on the subject related to the Holocaust. And um, as Yad Vashem and as Freundeskreis Yad Vashem here in Germany, we're incredibly honored to have been invited to put on an exhibition here. Yad Vashem has an incredible collection of items, documents, photographs from the Holocaust. The idea was to bring back to Germany objects that came originally from Germany. A crust has grown around very sadly. For many people, the Holocaust feels like history, but it's not. It's within the lifespan of our grandparents. We wanted to mark 70 years of Yad Vashem in a way that resonates with every German. The stories behind these 16 objects are stories of people's lives in Germany before and during the Holocaust. They are sometimes stories of escape and sometimes stories of people losing their lives under horrific circumstances. But each of these objects somehow miraculously made its way to the Yad Vashem collection. When thinking about how to present 70 years of Yad Vashem here in Germany, we wanted to make this connection back to German, the German narrative, the German story, German history. And so we selected one object from each Bundesland as a way in to telling the story of a personal fate, that of a family, and often that of an entire community. Through these objects, we wanted to build a bridge between the passers-by or the visitors and these tragic, sometimes exceptionally hopeful stories. It's very hard to choose amongst this, these 16 objects favorites. The object that I've had the longest relationship with is the Chanukia from Kiel. I feel very emotionally connected to that. I came to it through the photograph in which it is shown in 1931 in Kiel. It's the only object that is still owned by its original family. They go and collect it once a year from Yad Vashem and take it home to use it to celebrate Hanukkah in exactly the same way as their grandparents did. I was very fortunate to do that, to be able to participate in that and celebrate Hanukkah with them with the Hanukkiah in their home in Beit Shemesh. And it's such a symbol of hope and the importance of tradition and keeping an identity in, through thick and thin, regardless of the circumstances, how important it is to remain true to yourself. Another of my favorite objects is the piano from Chemnitz. A young boy, uh, Zali Magulis, was sent by his mother to Berlin to find a way for the family to get out of Nazi Germany. And he not only managed to secure the exit of the four, the four members of his family, but also the family piano. And when he was asked why the piano, he said it was the heart of our family. Music was at the heart of our family and I could not imagine leaving the piano behind. Zali is today 99 years old. I wish he could have come for this event and to see his piano in these incredibly uh, grand surroundings where the piano is right at the heart of our exhibition.